Okay, so good day. Continue tayo sa ginawa nating uh, POS and inventory system using C Sharp and SQL Server. Okay, so last time. Add na tayo ng uh, data from the card. Ayan. Then, makadagdag na tayo ng discount. So, for example, this is 10% or 50% discount this item. Ayan. Then, automatic na rin nag-compute yung uh, total sales. Yeah. Okay. So, today is September 17, 2019, 909 uh, p.m. So, continue natin. So, ang gawin natin ngayon is um, I-settle na natin yung payment natin dito. So, first natin gawin is, paano natin ipasa yung total sales natin papunta kay settle payment. So, mayroon tayong ginawa dito yung settle payment. Ayan. So, ito na po siya. So, dito. Dito natin ilagay yung okay. Uh, txt sales natin and then this is txt cash okay and then txt chains ayan so, dito natin yung pasa yung data natin then dito sa uh, modifier set natin siya ng public Ayan. Kasi pag naka-private siya, hindi natin uh, matawag ito o hindi natin siya pwedeng pasahan ng data galing doon sa ating POS. Galing dito. Okay. So, settle payment, tawagin natin si yung settle payment natin. Uh, FRM settle new FRM setup ayan and then FRM dot uh, txt yung cells natin dot text so galing dito sa ating uh, LBL Ayan, so galing dito. Ipasa natin siya. The text. And then we have the FRM. That should dialog. So try natin siya. Run natin yung program. Ayan, so medyo matagal yung pag-compile. Ayan, okay. POS. Tinyo natin. Sales products. For example, this is 2. This is 3. Tapos, settle natin. Ayan, so yung total natin is napasa natin dito. Okay. Then, so natin gagawin is sa ating setal. So, pwede natin siyang i-type dito. txt cast change. So, try lang natin. Try. And then, we have the catch. Exception. X. Ayan. And then, we have so this is txt uh, change the text 
equal to zero. If ever may error sa conversion, so yung change na is lagyan natin to zero. Then we have uh, uh, no um, create tayo ng variable so double double um, cash and pasa natin you have a double dot parse then yung value natin sa double I mean sa cash the text tapos um double change natin ayan tapos ito tayo na double have a double cell then you have the double the parse text cell the text ok tapos double you know, uh, cell or cash minus cell ok tapos txt let's change the text then dito natin pasa yung value ng change natin that to string format natin Okay. So, try natin kung uh, create ba tayo dito. Try catch six. Expected. So, yung partner niya is second try. Tapos kay catch. public sa so, kulang ng isa ito yung isa ayan then try natin yun tayo tapos uh, add sample 2 1 settle payment so try natin na 600 so meron siyang change na 73 so kung mag import tayo ng 1000 ayan so mag import tayo ng, ng 530 o kung mag import tayo ng 527 ok so ayan meron na nakakrate na tayo Then, try natin ito. So, so, this is BTN 7. This is BTN 8. BTN 9. BTN C. BTN 4. BTN 5. So, pa-click natin to. So, this is txt cash the text. Then, the value ng ating btn is btn7 dot text. This is 
nein. Dickste Gas. Okay, so try natin. Diyos, mag-function na ba siya? Gusto nyo. Then, product. For example, natin yung kong product. Ayan, tapos ito natin. So, type natin. 3,000. Or uh, 3,600. Or 3,000. Ayan na. 2,600. Okay, so pwede po natin na. Meron na tayong dito. So, gawin natin dito is pag-click natin ng enter, pwede niya i-save yung data. Mali dito is, kahit walang product, so yung, yung settle payment, naka-activate pa rin siya kahit wala na ang, naman yung card. So, dapat eh, disable po natin siya. So, dito tayo sa load card. Hanapin natin yung load card natin. So, this is the load card. Ayan. Okay, so create tayo dito na Boolean uh, Has record uh, Tapos pag mayroong laman so, Lagyan natin siya ng Has record True Ayan. If has record equal to true So then pag may record is equal to true yung date and settle natin Ayan. Uh, this date and settle dot enable pag may laman enable true otherwise pag walang laman within settle that enable false ayan okay so try natin to okay so try natin para yung program So, dito, pag walang laman, naka. Okay. So, by default, dapat. Uh, I-pulse natin siya by default. Ayan. So, by default, naka-pulse po siya. Enable false. Okay. So, gendra natin yung program. Tapos new at disabled siya so once na meron na siyang data 
automatic na enable siya. Then, pwede natin siyang masettle. Pag wala siyang data, automatic na disable siya. Okay, so, so dapat kasali na rin yung uh, discount. Pag wala siyang record, wala siyang uh, this is an account enabled false. So, dapat dun sa code rin natin, isamari natin siya. Okay, so this is a btn discount that enable true. Ayan. Otherwise, pag walang laman, btn discount that enable false. Okay, so try pa natin. Ano tayo? Tapos add tayo ng product. I mean, nandita sa cart natin. So, pag may laman, naka-enable sila. Pero pag walang laman, dapat naka-disable silang dalawa. Okay?